Describe downtown Saratoga in one word. Boring. Outdated. Dead. Boring. Dry. Uneventful. These are the responses we received describing downtown Saratoga. Hi, I'm Elise Pedestini and my team and I investigated the controversy of change behind downtown Saratoga. Here are some views of Saratoga citizens. How do you view downtown Saratoga? I view it as a graveyard. I'm sorry to say that I think it is a very pathetic situation that has happened to our city. Saratoga has long been landmarked by its historical appeal. We talked to some conservatives to understand their push to keep the downtown quiet and antiquated. To me, history is what can sell a community more than anything else. Evidence, however, shows this hold on historical charm could be preventing the possible prosperity of the downtown businesses. You look at the sales tax revenue that comes in from Las Caros in comparison to Saratoga. Las Caros gets about $17 million. Saratoga gets only a million dollars. There's a huge difference for two towns which are very similar in population and similar in size. But the traditionalists continue to emphasize the importance of the downtown's historical presence. I just think that selling his, uh, Saratoga as historic is a really, a really valuable thing to do. It's a really impressive thing. People love history. So when you come to visit, it looks just the way. When you're 45 years old, you're going to come back and hopefully it will look pretty much the way it looks now. The opposing side responsible for promoting change argues that a more modern approach to downtown Saratoga would benefit its future success. I know that there are people out there that that cherish the history, the historical charm of Saratoga, which believe me, don't don't think for one minute I don't. But that alone is not going to win new residents, the new young blood which Saratoga desperately needs. We researched downtown Campbell and found that in the past it resembled the current downtown Saratoga. Today, downtown Campbell is a thriving community full of restaurants and stores. To understand the transformation of Campbell, we talked to current and former Campbell commissioners. I think it's a balancing act between people who want change and people who don't want change. I certainly um, wanted to allow for a good environment, um, so when a business wants to open up, uh, do we have a speedy approval process for um, them to get approved? You know, just yesterday, the Silicon Valley Business Journal uh, named the city of Campbell as the fastest growing city in Silicon Valley um, between the years 2013 and 14. And so we've seen a tremendous amount of growth here in Silicon Valley. We proceeded to ask these pro-change supporters what they believed would help to transform downtown Saratoga. It can be good. I think the people who don't want change, I think it's fair to articulate what do you want. I think, again, creating that environment is important. Uh, and so I think Saratoga can do the same. But I think, again, for each community, it's different. So people who don't want change, unfortunately, change is going to happen. But have your input on how you like to see change. Saratoga can model the steps taken by Campbell to modernize downtown by making the application process faster and more efficient. This would attract new businesses, making downtown Saratoga more appealing to young and old alike. The fact is, Saratoga needs new businesses to increase tax revenue. With this increase in tax revenue, Saratoga would be able to finance more local events appealing to all ages, drawing even more foot traffic to downtown. As seen in downtown Campbell's case, change can completely revive a community just by taking a few simple actions to improve the atmosphere of downtown Saratoga.